Yes, of course, the Lord Jesus Christ had to go to the cross and die the death in order for anyone of Adam's fallen race to experience and partake of any of those spiritual blessings, such as regeneration, by that I mean the new birth, a quick ring to life. I'm not sure what you mean by practically and relationally placed and identified in Christ. Maybe this is clearer. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, etc. All saints, Old Testament believers, pre-70 AD saints and post-70 AD saints are all blessed in this way. The Lord Jesus Christ died to this end, to bring the blessings of salvation to his people. He died for them and paid their debts to justice for them. This was for all believers, past and present, and so for many as such as were not yet born. Believers come to a knowledge of these things and their election in Christ in time due to the Spirit of God working in them, as he did to bring us to the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Abraham was chosen in Christ, as all believers are, and at the time appointed in his life he was called by God, regenerated and by faith walked the walk of faith, just in the same way as we are being called to do today. By Abraham's call, like Adam, he would have experienced the workings of the old sinful nature and by faith pressed onwards and upwards, just like we have to do today. Abraham was justified by faith. That is, he was able to rest in the knowledge that his sins were covered and righteousness had been imputed to him, a righteousness which Christ had not yet worked out on earth, which we know from the gospel is the righteousness of Christ. Which leads me to want to ask this question. When are saved sinners justified?